Hi, my name is Johan Falk. I'm in Stockholm, Sweden. I used to be a Drupal developer, now I'm a math teacher and I'm using Drupal to do, uh, well, to help my um, work as a teacher. Uh, my latest, latest project is something called Course Planner and this video is uh, dedicated to that. I want to show you some of the features in this project. This is a sandbox right now, you can find it over at, uh, well, drupal.org slash node slash 1861936 if you want to find it. There's a link here to uh, uh, simplytest.me. I've hit my maximum quota right now. Uh, but you can try this out if you want to in your own sandbox by just clicking a button and waiting 20 seconds or so. Okay, this is Course Planner. It's used for planning courses. Well, what do you know? Uh, and setting up lessons and, and scheduling and, and, and stuff. Uh, this is one single module. Most of it is exported features. Some of it is uh, custom code. Uh, this module, uh, let's just have a look at modules list and things. We have Course Planner here, one single module. If you enable that, whoops, let's not save this right now. Uh, you get some new content types. You get something called course offering, a course outline, course section and lesson. Uh, let's start by doing a course outline. This is used for uh, planning a lesson, well, lessons or and courses in general. So this is my second math course. I do two different math courses. Math courses. Uh, let's put a description here. Uh, description goes here. I described this course. Let's skip this here for now. Let's remove that one as well. Save. And I now I have uh, my second math course. And when I plan this course, uh, I probably break it up into, say, seven different sections and plan it out so that the first section, let's call it the first section, has uh, four lessons. Uh, second, second section has uh, 10 lessons. And third section has, like, what? Say, seven lessons. Add. And then this is put here, very nice. Uh, so I can see first, second, third section. I can have other names for that. And these are nodes that I can give descriptions and you can, uh, well, I will and you could add fields and more descriptions to that. But that's not one, what I want to show right now. Okay, so this is my second math course and I do this course over and over again. So I would like to add something called a course offering saying my second course fall 2012 or say spring 2013 probably time to start planning that some description again scroll scroll save uh, okay and now for my second course, spring 2013, I can add lessons to it. Say I'll have the first lesson 2013, January the 7th, which I think is a Monday. Let's just take that and add. Now we have that here. That's an empty lesson. Let's make sure this... Ah, the date is empty. How strange. Okay, so I, I built this this evening. So everything is not really perfect. Uh, January 7th, let's say it starts at 20 past 8. Let's not have an end date and save. Okay. Uh, and I know that I only have lessons on Mondays and this keeps going until say May or something like that. Now I can do this and that's kind of interesting. Uh, I check this one and then I repeat this lesson. Repeat until 2013, May the 20th or something. Go. Dum, 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 dum. And here we go. We have all these lessons now on Mondays, same time. And I can, if, if this lesson here is canceled for some reason, and we have a break or something, I can just delete this one. Confirm, yeah. And if this lesson here has another uh, date or another time, I can go in, edit this, and just change this and say this starts at 10 sharp instead. Something like that. Extremely useful. Well, 
No, it's kind of useful. Uh, you have full flexibility on these lessons. But here's the cool thing now. Uh, if I select all these lessons and uh, click fill with course outline, I can select my outline here, my second math course, and these lessons will be populated with uh, the sections from my uh, from my course outline. And it knows that I have planned four lessons for the first section, so it uh, lists that here, one of four, two of four, and so on. Second section is more, third section, well, I only got here to five of seven, then my lessons, I'm out of lessons, so I probably need to rethink my outline here a bit. Um, yeah, this is starting point. I'd like to do some more cool things here. Uh, well, for, for example, I want to be able to present this as a calendar or export it as, as a spreadsheet. I want to have some more neat uh, buttons here so I can insert uh, lessons or push lesson, lessons because it happens every now and then that this section I'm working with needs one or two more lessons, so I would like to be able to insert that in an easy way and push the rest of the lessons further down, things like that. Uh, and as you can see, the user interface is not really perfect, but it's kind of useful anyway. Um, yeah, so far so good. If you're interested in this, find it uh, interesting, uh, visit this sandbox here, 1861936, or send me a tweet um, or something, uh, and we can chat about it. All right, see you around. Bye.